My name's Tom, and I'm leaving the grind behind and hitting the road in search of adventure in my custom tiny studio on wheels. Welcome to Casa Nowhere. Don't forget to subscribe. You wouldn't want to miss anything. Well, hello, Internet. It has been another exciting week. I'm going to start this video with some updates to my travel and then get into some upgrades on the mobile internet including the installation of an external LTE antenna on the roof of the trailer so let's dive right in some of you may recognize where I am back where it all started this is where I was when I posted my first video before my house had closed before I bought the truck before I found the trailer before I moved it down to Texas and before I built it out into the tiny studio on wheels it looked quite a bit different then all the leaves were gone and there was even some snow but it is still nice and lush here it's certainly much cooler here than in Texas I came up here for my buddy Mike's wedding they had the reception here had everything pimped out with tents and DJ and and then the rest of the festivities were over at a cottage resort nearby there was a little creek just feet from the back entrance to the cabin lots of rhododendron and cedar it was a magical spot and an enchanted weekend but the next week I had some issues to address the main being I had no reliable internet in my trailer. This property here is way on the edge of cell service at the top of a mountain and even phone calls are a little tricky here but I had nothing, no internet in my trailer. So I ordered an external antenna and I installed it on the roof and let's see if that gets me back online. So today I am going to install the external antenna for my LTE router. I believe I have everything I need. This is the antenna here. And I've got my die core back here. Drill. And a one and three quarter inch hole saw. So I did somewhat plan for this. I assumed I was gonna need this antenna, but since it was working so well without the antenna in Texas, I thought maybe I would just luck out and it would work, but I left this panel up here removable because I figured I was gonna need to do this. I need to cut out a little piece of that pink foam and then I can go up on the roof and drill through. So first I am going to wipe off the whole area with rubbing alcohol. That's pretty dirty. Now I'm going to do my pilot hole. I'm gonna double check where that is downstairs. All right, that is pretty much in the perfect spot. I'm now drilling through with the hole saw. I'm gonna wipe it down one more time. So I now have the adhesive backing attached to the antenna and now I'm going to peel off my paper here, carefully push that in the hole and apply some pressure to this adhesive. Attach this knot underneath. Now I simply have to die core around the edge and at least this part on the roof will be done. And that's it. I may come up and put another bead or two around it once that dries, but for now, that is it. So the router I'm using is this Pepwave Max BRI Mini. But you'll see it comes with these antennas, but these weren't doing the job inside this metal box. So all I need to do is unscrew these. You will notice once I get these hooked up, I have a few extra leads to that antenna 
and that's because I have a feeling I may need to go up to a better modem router and the newer ones instead of having two LTE antennas they have four instead of one Wi-Fi antenna they have two that's just future proof I can just switch out this box and then not have to worry about replacing the antenna in the future if I do go to like a Cat 18 modem And there you have it, mounted and connected. So how'd we do? Well, I now have internet in the trailer. It's not screaming, it's about 10 megs over three megs, but that is good enough for my needs and I am calling that a great success and pretty much a wrap to this video. I do have some exciting things planned for some near future videos. I have been scouting out some free camping here in the Northeast and I've already found some gems but I have quite a bit more scouting to do plan to do a little feature on that in the near future and I also have an upgrade I'm going to do to the truck so if you're interested in those things please make sure you're subscribed thanks for watching and have a good one if you made it this far why not go ahead and hit that like button I sure would appreciate it